lovely, beautiful, and just phenomenal. Hope I'm still saying that right. Viewers, welcome back to my channel. And I want to say thank you for those of you, those of you who continue to come back and support me by hitting that thumbs up button. And for those of you that are new here, welcome. Hopefully you continue to come back and you find something in this video that helps you move forward in life, something that make you go, hmm, you know what? It's time for me to get my life started. Or just something to make you smile, cry, whatever it is that you require to get you to push forward. That's what I hope you get from this video. So it is a new week. We are already in the second week of February. So in January, we spoke about goals that we wanted to accomplish. And now we're in February. So how far are you getting on those goals? And in case you don't know, you all are helping me accomplish a few of my goals so far. It's already February. Every time I recommend a book, like I did last week with the two books for, that I recommend for February, I'm reading those books as well. Because I can't tell you to do something if I ain't doing it. You might see me on the street and you're like, hey, how's such and such book going? I'm like, what? No. So you guys hold me accountable and you are helping me accomplish my goal of reading more. So I want to say thank you. I appreciate you all for that. So today's video, because like I said last week, I am attempting to do like five minute videos. We're going to try. I'm going to try it again. I did it. I did it last week. Check mark. So we're going to try again this week. So this week I want to give you guys a little motivation. I like to, when I'm on a treadmill or if I'm on a bike, I like to listen to motivational videos. And it's like motivational like workout videos and it's like a complimentation. I don't know. You know, I, I'm trying to work on my vocabulary here. But it's like a whole bunch of videos piled into one that they, you know, they edit and it just flows good. So one of the channels I like to watch, I remember put the link in the description. So I think it's called the Mulligan Brothers. But I listen to them every day when I'm on the treadmill. I'm getting it because you know you got to get your motivation. I'm getting it and I'm watching these people like, you know, working out. And then I'm listening to some of my most inspirational, motivational speakers. And one of those is Les Brown. And like I have, I can't remember when I found him. But once I came across, especially a lot of his older videos, it just does something to me. It gets me, you know, like pumped up, you know, and it makes me want to just get started doing something. So in this particular video, he was speaking about doing what you can, where you can, with what you can. Doing what you can, where you can, how you can. Yeah, I'm kind of like paraphrasing, but you get the gist of it. So basically it's saying, you know, you don't really, sometimes you have a goal in life, right? And sometimes you might not have all the tools that you think you need, but nine times out of 10, you have enough to get started. And that's what it takes. No matter where you are in life, no matter what your goal is, you have something right now that can help you accomplish that goal, no matter what it is. And it's amazing. So whatever it is, no matter if it's, let me see, I always mention working out because that's actually one of my goals. So you'll see me mention that a lot. So I'm like, oh man, I'm not near a gym. Uh, I can't afford a personal trainer. I don't have any workout equipment at home. But like I said, do what you can, where you can, how you can, whatever, right? So if you're watching this video right now, you're like, hey, I'm not near a gym. Um, I can't get a personal trainer. I just don't know what to do to work out. Dude, you're watching me on this video right now. And if you're watching me on YouTube, you can also search for a lot of other different like um, channels that are just for working out. So you can stand in front of that TV and just get it in, do some push-ups, sit-ups, whatever it is, some yoga, because all of that is working out. So there's really kind of no excuse to say that, oh man, I wish I could work out, but I can't. Because you can. you got to start somewhere. Start small. Get up in the morning, do a couple of push-ups, a couple of sit-ups. Just start small as long as you're starting somewhere. And after that part, he said something that, I don't know, you know, sometimes people say stuff and it just be like, you know what? I never thought about it that way. And Les Brown said, never be satisfied, which is something powerful because like I said, you just do whatever you can, how you can, what you can, right? But never be satisfied. Always be pushing, pushing, pushing forward and moving higher. Because once you begin to get comfortable, that's even with, like I said, I'm always going to use working out pretty much the majority of the time when I'm talking. Even with working out, let's say every day you get up, 
you're doing five push-ups, you're knocking out five push-ups. I'm doing like a diamonds, right? You know, I can't do diamonds right now, but I can dream big. Because you know what? I always be pushing forward and doing more, right? So never be satisfied. So you're up every morning, you're doing your five push-ups. But if that's all you're doing for like three months straight, yeah, you'll get better. But then you're also going to get it comfortable because so you jump up, you'll knock out five, that's it. You don't want to be satisfied with that because you want to be pushing and making yourself stronger every single day. So you want to be increasing those reps. If it comes to, say for instance, um, my thing is reading. So if it's reading, I'm reading my, you know, chapter a day, two chapters a day, three chapters a day, whatever. But I want to be always pushing forward and never be satisfied. When I put that book down, and you'd be like, ah, oh, you know what? I could probably read at least one or two more pages. And when you do that, never be satisfied because you can always, you deserve better. In case you don't know that, you deserve better. You deserve everything that you want in life. In case you don't know that, in case no one has told you, you deserve better and you deserve everything that you desire and want in life. But it takes that first step of getting started with however you can and then always pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward and never ever being satisfied. Never. Not on the negative side, with more the positive side. Because you know a lot of times we get real comfortable and we think that okay, that's enough. No, no, because you can always do better. And there's always somebody out there who's working 10 times as hard as you and getting those desired results a lot faster. So always, always, if you don't get anything else from this video, why don't you take away these two things? Get started with however or whatever it is that you got. Get started. That's all it takes to get started. And number two, never be satisfied. Always pushing, pushing, pushing forward and just, just get it going. That's it. Where we at? Look at that. I said five minutes. I'm in seven minutes. You know, I like to rant. But I just really wanted to get that out there for this video. So make sure you are always pushing forward, pushing forward and never being satisfied. I don't care if you're already at your goal weight, you can still work on toning. It's always something that you can work on. Always. I don't care if you think you're like the best public speaker in the world. It's still some words that you might fumble over. So you're always and should never, ever be satisfied because you can always do better. And you know what? I believe in you. In case no one else has told you that today, Keish believes in you. And that's all it takes is for two people to believe in you, right? Yourself, of course, because it's all up here and all in here. And one more person just to make it, you know, for good measures. And that'd be me. So you got two people already that believe that you can do whatever, whatever it is that you want to do in life. So knock it out. Get it done. That is all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed my motivational. I call it my rant because I went way past the five minutes. So I'll try again next week. So I want you all to have a wonderful, awesome, and phenomenal day and also a great week. In the comments below, let me know what you found most helpful in this video. And also, you know I love to know it. What is your goal that you're going to work on for this week? Let me know and make sure you click that thumbs up button. And check out the description for the motivation that the motivational workout video that I mentioned with the Mulligan brothers. Good stuff. If you need some energy and then something to pep you up in the morning, besides watching me, you can watch the motivational video that's gonna be in the description of this video. So have an awesome, wonderful day, guys. Thank you again for coming through and watching.